Hi there, welcome back to another video of how to with us at DF64 Coffee Grinders. Today we're going to teach you how to change the burrs of the DF83V. So first off, lay the grinder on a flat surface with a protective sheet in between the grinder and the table. Make sure the grinder collar is facing up towards you. Next, remove the grinder collar. Don't worry about the inner adjustment dial yet. Now, remove the top burr carriers to expose both the burr carriers that you will be working on. Now, take a look at the notches on the top burr carrier. Remember, these notches are to be placed within the gaps on the grinder to fit them in perfectly. Now, unscrew the bottom burr from the burr carrier. Once you're done with that, unscrew the main screw in the augmenter to pull out the bottom burr. Now, if you take a look at the bottom burr carrier, there are also two notches there. When you place the augmenter back in, make sure it aligns with the two supports. Now once you've done that, let's take a look at the SSP burrs we are going to swap in today. These are the SSP Lab Sweet Silver burrs. The version 2 was made purely for filter coffee. You can't grind it fine enough for espresso. The manufacturers make the V3 in mind to retain Lab Sweet flavor profile but brewing for espresso. So as compared to the Red Speed codes in our other video, the Silver Knight produces less friction, hence less fine grinds, which translates to a sweeter and higher clarity coffee. Now, if you take a look at the back of the SSP burrs, you notice that they do have their indicators on. So, for this, we'll be taking the rotary burr to place onto the bottom burr carrier. Once you put the burr on, screw it into the carrier. Once you're done with that, remember the two notches, make sure you place them in perfectly and that they're sitting on the supports. Now when you're done with that, you can screw the augmenter back in. Make sure to hand tighten all the screws. Now we move on to the top burr. Let's do the exact same thing for the top burr. Remove all the screws. Swap in the appropriate burr for it. In this case, we're going to use the burr that has the indicator fixed. Now place the burr in, making sure that all the screw holes are aligned and screw it back on. Make sure to hand tighten all the screws again. Now place the top burr carrier back in. Making sure the notches are aligned. And then place the grinder collar back on. Screw them in nicely. No brute force is required. Make sure to loosen the inner adjustment dial so that you can turn the collar grinder more. Now, remember, SSP burrs are significantly thicker, so we need to reset the zero. Take the Allen key that's provided in your coffee grinder box and loosen the inner adjustment dial. Once you're done with that, readjust the inner dial and line up the zero with the marking on the grinder collar. 
and after that you are done you have successfully changed the burst for the DF83 UV and also reset the zero point let us know in the comments down below what you think and what you want to see next until next time